Hello everyone. Well, Daisy seems to be quite interested in this box, don't you Daisy? Yes, Daddy's opening another brown package, isn't he? And normally when Daddy opens a brown package, something comes out that makes a bit of noise, doesn't it? But Daisy's okay, she doesn't mind vacuum cleaners. Molly, you won't see. She doesn't like vacuum cleaners. This is a Hoover Sensatronic, as you know from the title. And I have a feeling I've seen this before. Now this has been refurbished. But I think I've seen this on eBay. It was hanging around on eBay for quite some time for a silly price. And considering how damaged it was, um, I was watching it. I thought it's not worth what they were asking for it. I think it was on a bike now. But it must have been sold for a more reasonable price to the seller I bought this from, I think, and he's refurbished it. So here we have two plastic ones, and, hmm, that's unusual, they seem to be intact, both locking rings. Normally these break, but they're, they're fine. And this wand also contains the storage bracket. Here we have the hose that's been cleaned. That's the cleaner end. And here's the uh, pistol grip, I think they called it. Style hand grip. Not remote control, obviously, on this one. But it has a suction control. Just opens the vent and it has a little button at the front to release either the wand or the cleaning tool. Here we have the contour nozzle. I recently bought one of these. Somebody was selling one on its own. It's a bike now. And I wanted one for another Sensortronic. This one's in, uh, yes, pretty good shape. And slightly more basic. The one I bought a couple of weeks ago has the little window and the first contour nozzles would have had a window here. A little clear window indicating the setting. So, it would have had one single line when it was on hard floor and um, or was it the other way I can't remember but anyway it showed you this one does have symbols to depict carpet and well that's that that's depicting actually brush up and that's depicting brush down so it's brush up for carpet that has been very well cleaned up look at that that's very nicely done excellent I won't mind running that across my carpet in a quick demo. It's got the correct number of litter pickers. Never had two of these. They always had one. I've had these some brand new. There was a recess for two, but they only need, seem to have one on them. So it's a nice, nice quality nozzle, Hoover contour nozzle there. Now the seller told me he'd take the wheels off because he's obviously seen videos of mine where the wheels have been smashed so prevent them to prevent them from being smashed he's kindly taken them off so we'll have to screw those on in a minute lots of blue roll now where are the he might have put them inside the cleaner because I can't see them no they're not in there so what I think he's done he's put them inside so we'll clear this I think it's uh, this weekend, I'm gonna have to go to the tip. I don't wanna fill up my bin with all this. Right then, put that to one side out of the way. There we go. And we can look at the cleaner. So this is a Hoover Sensatronic 1000. Ah, oh, we've got the full complement of tools. I must say, very well refurbished. If this is the one that I remember seeing, the uh, seller, oh no bags, but I've got plenty. The seller's done a good job. Oh, he's even had an attempt, a bit of a messy fix, but it, as long as it works. I do think this is the one I remember seeing because I seem to remember that had a cracked tool caddy. But whatever he's fixed that with, I think it will hold and it's only on that side. It doesn't matter, it doesn't show on this side. So here's the tool caddy. Got all the tools, nice cleaned up. You've got the all-purpose nozzle. 
quite a well-worn dusting brush but I might have another one of those and uh, a fairly well used crevice tool as well got space here for an air freshener there the wheels are look at that very well done that is um, I'll tell you who the seller is because I think I'm very impressed with that refurb I'll check it's Co it's, he's in Coventry I think don't know if that's been just cleaned or replaced but that's the pre-motor and that's the only filter there is apart from the bag we've got the filter grill there obviously but yeah it's all very clean I think he's replaced because it doesn't look quite the same as it would have done just here a bit of extra foam now when this was new I don't think that would have been quite so pronounced and it would have probably been in one piece so he's, I think the seller has done that to refurbish it, to, to give a better seal. So we'll pop the wheels on and then we'll uh, hopefully find, I've got, I've got bags for this, but whether I've got bags for this inside, easy to get, or I don't know if I have. I know I've got some bags. But it's whether I've got any in the house because I can't get them if they're in the garage at the moment. These, although these have a burgundy glamour cap, this is correct as far as I remember. So it don't, they do look a bit odd. You'd think, well, they, why didn't they make them with a white glamour cap or all grey to match the cleaner? But no, I had a machine almost identical to this that I think was a Curry's exclusive and I bought it in the late 80s and the only difference between this one and the one I bought was the tool caddy cover now this says Sensotronic 1000 I had one of these and it was called it said Hoover Sensotronic TC and then at the bottom it said Tropic and here at the bottom was a sort of a tropical scene. If you know what a Malibu drinks bottle looks like, it reminded me of that. It was sort of um, sort of a sunset with palm trees and whatever, I can't remember. But it was called, and I've, I've got an old, old video of it, which I haven't shown you, one I recorded way back when I had it new, recorded on old VHS cassette. So when I get round to it, I'll show you some of those old videos. Um, but apart from, this bag door it's the same what I'll do then I'll pause the camera pop the wheels on have an attempt at finding some bags and then I'll be back with you lickety split okie dokie that's the wheels on I have found a bag it's not new unfortunately at the time of making this video a few weeks ago I unboxed the Hoover Sensotronic System 30 and that had a bag in it so that's still in the house so I've just grabbed the used bag just so I can turn it on without muck going everywhere. So obviously it'll only work properly with the tool caddy in place. You can have the, the tool caddy door off because you can use this machine, you can have the machine running and you want to select a tool, you can leave the motor on, take this top off and select a new tool without turning it off. You couldn't do that with uh, the later compacts because they actually were inside the bag compartment so you had to switch the machine off to open the door. So you can use it without this cover on. But all in all, yes, uh, very, very good job at refurbishing this. This probably looks even better in on the video than it does in real life. It still looks very good, it's very clean. I don't feel I have to do anything with this at all. The name of the eBay seller that I bought this from is Coventry Vacuum Servicing. He currently doesn't have anything else for sale, but uh, if this works, then um, yes, I could I can recommend that seller if you're looking for vacuum, if he sells any more. Now this is the Hoover Sensortronic 1000 and it's based on the Hoover Sensortronic System 10 which was the bottom of the range when they redesigned the Sensortronics with this slightly elevated panel. Um, they produced 10, system 10 to 50 instead of system 1 to 5. 
And then there was, I think, at least two generations of the 10 to 50 Sensortronics. The first Sensortronics System 10 was a sort of, oh, it's hard, to, well, a bit similar colour to this carpet. It was a, a beigey, taupey colour. And then I believe the second generation System 10 was still a beige, but slightly darker, as far as I remember. The only difference between this and the System 10, I think the System 10 actually had a 900 watt motor, like the System 1. What this has in addition that the System 10 didn't have is variable speed. So we have a slide control here, high to low. So that wouldn't have been there on the System 10. We've got the little air freshener decal here with a vent. But as I explained in my System 30 video, the smell just comes out of the exhaust anyway. That's just for show. And we've only got two little indicator lights on this one, a red and a green. So when you switch it on, the green light should illuminate if everything's fine. But as the bag fills, or if you get a blockage, the red light will come on and the red light will fluctuate. It will come on as you're using the machine if you're restricting the airflow. And then there's just a blanking piece here. Here we have the foot operated on off switch and auto cord rewind and here at the back we've got the exhaust vent and I believe the seller has replaced the diffuser at the back that always always perishes on this uh, style of cleaner well many vacuum cleaners with a similar uh, diffuser they always fall to bits they don't last well so let's pull out the flex we've got an old plug on it Probably fairly age appropriate, might be a bit earlier actually than this. Oh, we haven't had a look. Let's have a quick look at the um, rating plate first, because I can't recall when this was. Uh, it's certainly an 80s vacuum cleaner. I fitted the wheels as you can see, swivel caster, no power takeoff socket, so you couldn't even have an optional head on this. That's the release button to release the hose. And here, which was a later addition, that's the little slot that uh, this goes into. And that's really basically a to hold it together when it's being stored or carried. It's not a parking bracket as such. Okay, quick look at the rating sticker and then we'll turn the cleaner on. So this is Hoover model S3716, made in France. Trademarks of Hoover PLC 50 Hertz, 900 watts, it says, despite it being called Sensortronic 1000. And um, it's NS3716, and I think that's 806054. It's a bit hard to see. Something two, could be three, could be an eight. Okay, let's pull out the flex. That's all nice and clean as well. I'm going to risk turning it on. It might have been booby trapped, I don't know. Not everyone likes me. <laughs> well, at least I'll catch it on camera. Hopefully I'll survive long enough to upload the video. So I'll, I'm going to start it off on low. It might switch on anyway. Hopefully it won't blow up because Daisy is just up here. I'll move it slightly out of the way of Daisy. <laughs> I'm not bothered about myself, it's Daisy I'm bothered about. Isn't it Daisy May? Right then. So it's turned on. It took a while for the um, green light to come on. Well, that sounds fine. Smells nice as well. It'll probably smell nicer with a, a new bag in it instead of the dirty one that I've had to put in it. Probably have a little bit more suction as well, but um, 
that's uh, yeah, not too shabby. Let's pop the hose on. Make sure it's in the right way. That locks nicely into place. Yeah, very happy with this. It's a basic, basic model. But yeah, you know me, I'm a sucker for Sensotronics. Absolute tanks. <laughs> I wouldn't want to use one on a day-to-day -day basis. Maybe I will use one for a week at some point. There we are, put the old extension ones together. Contour nozzle. And we'll give it a bit of a push. I'll start it off on low. But I think max power might be a bit much for this uh, plush carpet. Well, there you go. That's the end of my video on this Hoover Sensotronic 1000. A big thumbs up to Coventry Vacuum Servicing because he has done a very good job. I'm assuming it's a he. Might be a lady, but no, I think it's a gentleman. Works fine. And if it's the one I think it is, he has done a very, very good job of getting it to this condition. Absolutely excellent. I don't really have to do anything with it apart from store it away somewhere safe and dry to uh, get out another time and admire and possibly do a full demo. One day I'll get all my Sensotronics out and that will look quite magnificent, all the different models I've got, all the colours. A very nice cleaner from the 80s, not really suitable for today's homes, it's very heavy, a bit awkward to use. People want little lightweight cordless ones these days, don't they? And even when they want a mains powered one, they want something a little bit more compact and lighter than these beasts. But for the time, they were good machines. I have a soft spot for the Sensotronics. I always will do. Sensotronics, Turbo Powers, Turbo Masters, Compacts from that era. I really do like them. If you have any comments or questions about this Sensotronic or any of the Hoover Sensotronic cleaners, please comment below. And I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook if you want to and uh, I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Bye for now.